Yeah, all sanded. First lot of fairing on. Probably take a couple of goes to get it fared up properly and get all the nooks and crannies and air holes and bits and pieces out. Oh, internal came up nice. Put plenty of layers inside. Um, it's got about four or five around each edge. I think it's got about the same inside. So it's got a nice build up. I have to rip the front of the boat off for it to come off anyway. So yeah, pretty happy the way it's coming up. Still maybe could have made it a bit longer, but anyway, I think it doesn't look too bad. Well, after some delays, I've started the layup on the wave breaker, so I've got two coats on the front of it so far. So it's um, 450 chop strand and 600 double bias, and then I've just laid it up in the center with, because obviously when I've cut it out, I cut it out in one piece and had to cut it. So I've laid up, I don't know, I'm well, making the centre quite strong, so I've got, I don't know, there's about four or five layers of chop strand in the centre, just to make the, the join strong, I guess. Um, yeah, so I've just turned it over, and um, and I've just had to, um, I was going to lay this up now, but this hasn't quite gone off enough yet, and um, I'll give it a sand tomorrow so it's nice and smooth, because it's impossible to do it all in one go. I thought I might be able to, but I don't know who I was kidding, just myself, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think it'll come up good. It's already starting to pop out of the mould though, so that's, well, I guess it's one good thing. But um, yeah, I hope it all doesn't peel off before I get every layer on. Um, I think I've got five or six, I think I'm doing. I can't remember now. I've got all the stuff cut up over there. Um, so yeah, it's coming along quite nice. Righto, one sides. What have we got on there? Six, six layers, I think, now. So when the boys get home from school, I'll flip it over, do six on the other side, and then I've got another five to do, oh, oh, five, six, seven, uh, four to do on that one, and then I think I'll probably go a couple more, just a 450 chop strand, to get me up to, I don't know, try and get about eight to 10, I think it should be enough. Um, and then if I need to put more on after I pop out of the mold, I can strengthen it then, see how we're going for strength and flex, etc. Right, I'll flip it over. Boys come home from school. So, yeah, I just laid up. Uh, what did I do? Five, I think. Five layers. It was just about as much as I could do. I think it was five. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six layers. Um, and I even got a chance to roll this one out a little bit because generally I don't get time to roll it out completely. But anyway, this one rolled pretty good. So um, when that goes off in another hour or so, I'll flip it over and I'll chuck um, another four on that. That'll make six. And I'll chuck a few more on it. I think I'll do up to ten. I think I'll go. Yeah. Um, pretty sure ten should be plenty. It's about what I do on a pod anyway. Um, and then I'll do the corners and the centre. Double them up in the corners, double up in the centres. So, um, yeah, it should come up pretty good. Looking forward to getting out of the mould and have a look. Right, I broken the first side of the mould off. I was too nervous to have the thing playing while I broke it off. Because, yeah, to be perfectly honest, you know, even though you don't want things to mess up on camera. I really didn't want things to mess up on camera. But anyway, it looks pretty good. Um, and this will be the first and last one I do with these, I can tell you. This has been a bloody nightmare. Um, so, but yeah. Actually, that looks pretty damn good. And by the time I clean it up, there's a few little spots there. I might just fill those with some clear, maybe. Um, it's come through. But once I, as you can see, that once I blacken it off, once I put the gel coat on the other side, those um, spots will disappear. But crikey, I'm, I'm actually more impressed with how it looks, to be perfectly honest. There's a couple of bits here that I don't like where it's lifted off the mould, it pre-come off the mould because I had it in the mould for way too long um, before going ahead and, and glassing it only because, you know, I stuffed up and there's long waiting periods to get stuff where we are up in the northwest. It just takes a long time for 
things to get here. So, um, but yeah, I'll keep going. Looks pretty good. Right, try to get this one off. It's, uh, it's not coming as good as the other one, though. I'll get back to you. she popped out um, it was a bit of a battle there's a few little air, air bubbles not too bad like I said I'll be able to once that darkens off you won't see you can see that when I put my fingers on that the, the, the gaps I don't think I'd use such bigger twill next time this stuff is really hard to work with and if you don't work with carbon fiber all the time I don't you know I do stuff for myself with it and, and play around I make, I make um, dive fins and that sort of stuff but that's much easier than working with this big, thick stuff that's got a mind of its own. Um, you know, these are my fins and that I make. I make all my own blades and that for the kids. Um, you know, this stuff's pretty easy, really. Um, so, yeah, I've dealt with it a little bit, but not certainly to build something like this. But anyway, first go. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Alright, I'll get started on the next section. Righto, I'm just about to take the front off. I've got out of my middle son to give me a hand because it was hard, so we'll slide it down without scratching it, without scratching it. No, without scratching it. Let it slide down flat, 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 flat. Lift that up. Woo! Well, that's not too bad. There's a few air gaps in that one over there, but you won't see them. Like I said before, once I fill them in, I nearly buggered that side up again. Um, this side went down all right, but that side was hard yakka. Well done, Fat Man. You got it? Yep. All right, we'll get that in the bin. Righto, she's out. So, as you can see, I've got these things to fix. Um, down here is a couple of holes here, which have obviously yeah, I'll need to fill before I can paint it, spray. But all in all, I'm pretty happy. Um, there is one funky thing going on here. You see there's a little concave in here. Now, I don't know how the hell that happened. It's ever so slight, but it's in there and it's in the mold, but 
the mould was flat, I don't get it. Don't know. Don't know what happened there. Um, the edges and that come up good, the rounding. Um, and look at the shimmer, the shimmer off it's going to be awesome when I paint it. I'm going to use um, uh, Chromax Clear with UV protecting in it. I think, I don't know, I'll probably put about four or five coats on it, I think, and then, um, and then I'll give it a hot coat maybe a week or so later. Um, the sides come up really good. I'm really stoked with the sides, but I'm still disappointed. You know, if you don't vac them, it's hard to get the air out of it. I rolled them, but up here, probably said it before, when it's hot, you don't get that long to muck around with your resins. And I only, and I only catalyst to 1%, so um, even in the winter time, I only catalyst to 1% because it's just so warm here. And at the moment, today's 41, um, so I could probably go lower than that. But um, yeah, no, I'm pretty happy. I've got to clean up all these. What I'll do is on the edges, I'll build the edges up a bit and get them all level and square now. It's out of the mold, I can work on it. In the center, I'll do the same, a little bit of a hollow here, either side, so I'll fill those, fill the centers. This, obviously, it's gotta be sanded and rounded off not nicely. Do that, and then I think I'll also put a, um, a couple more layers just down the guts. Um, yeah, I think, because uh, just to, for just shits and giggles. And then the windows out of the original boat I'll cut down and I'll cut them into the front of the weight breaker. Um, so yeah, they'll have a you know a window cut in. So that'll cut a lot of this stuff out, and I won't have to repair so much, obviously. So um, it's a shame to cut it, but um, my wife will be very upset if she can't see out the window. Um, anyway, that's what we're going to do. Um, so we'll cut those windows to size. Tomorrow when this goes off probably it's still a little bit green. Um, I'll sand all this up and get it neat, I'll get nice straight lines on it. I might just fill these now so they're ready to fill tomorrow. There's a couple of hollows here where it popped out of the mould but you know, just gonna have to suck those up. You can see them little curves where it popped off the mould um, as it was going off. But like I said, I left it in the mould way too long. Um, just in carbon. And um, yeah, it just loosened itself off. This side's come up an absolute treat. There's always one side that looks good. This, at least this is the driver's side. Um, yeah, but no. Yeah, anyone going to use this 18 mil twill carbon fibre? Look out. It's hard work. All right.